<laughs> you know what? I'm just talking too much, so let's just get with it. All right, Darian, Mariana, just enough garage. We're back on the 53 Ford. We're hoping to do the brakes, mounting the master brake cylinder, putting the floor in it, mounting the seat. That's our goal for this uh, video. Possibly getting it on a drive, possibly. We'll see how far we get. Okay, so last time on the episode, hopefully we've got our, we're always a couple of weeks difference between what you're seeing and what i've already done so this is the future anyways got the bars done on the last video um you guys can see in here before we've got to build a fire a firewall we've got to build a floor we've got to do a couple of things i haven't even tackled the wiring i built the nerf bars and i have not touched them a week's gone by for many of you who are watching this consistently thank you um I appreciate it. Thank you. The, those who have subscribed, appreciate it. Thank you. We're trying to grow this channel. We don't really have a direction on what we want to do. I have some ideas. This is kind of a creative point for all of us. Marianne, especially, she does all of the uh, social media. She does all of the emails. She's doing all the YouTube stuff that's required to do the YouTube stuff. She does the filming. And I'm just a doofy old guy that's putting it together. So for those of you who are watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please share, subscribe, like, make comments. That actually helps. We just I'm going to give you a brief moment here. YouTube operates off of interaction. This is what we've learned. So if you interact with us, it puts our videos out for more people to see. Uh, we are now being compared with people who are watching some of the bigger channels. All right, and so what you've seen already is the clutch, the power steering, the engine running. And truthfully, I didn't make that up. I am so impressed with myself that I took axle grease and I put all the bearings and stuff together because I knew I was going to let it set for a while. It just runs. I still got to do a vacuum advance. I got to um, uh, do the power brake booster. So we're going to do that stuff today, power brakes. <laughs> you know what? I'm just talking too much. So let's just get with it. Mariana had a good idea. She says, do we start off with a success or did I say that? You said it. I said, okay. I said, okay. Well, we haven't cold started. Oh, we don't have any gasolina because it ran out last time I was doing it. All right. Well, let me uncover this because I care about it now. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We could try this. I think it's, I think it's a bad idea. Some of it's going in there, right? Uh, this carburetor is down to... All right. All right. I need to step on... The car is really this tall. We're not making this crap up. It is really this tall. You know? Oh, let me... Uh, hold on. Let me get a... Uh, da, 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 da. And I go. So I got my, uh, my uh, step stool over here. Here, Mary, check this out. Go over that way so oh, I can. <laughs> well, you're five ten, so I feel like that's a pretty good. What is that? Fifty five, just under five foot. That's why did we build a car so I tall? I just under. It's four and a half feet tall. What we should do is take the tires off and let it come down, and then when we need to go under, we will have to jack it back up. Ah, uh, all right. I know. I put it away the other day because I thought we were done with this. Anyways, cold start. Cold start. That's everybody loves a cold start. <laughs> okay, you got your power on the solenoid. No, I don't, because look. <laughs> I got to put that one right here. It's already in neutral. Yeah, but the solenoid ended. You got to set the choke on a carburetor. Boom. You see how that closed with one pump? Oh, it'll probably need more. Oh, I dropped some in. All right, here we go. Show them that again. What? Oh, yeah, you got to set that, and it sets the choke on carburetors. Here we go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Whoa, there's a hose in the fan. Oh, sure. Let's move that. Danger. 
I think it needs gasoline. Remember I said it would run out last time I was using it? Oh, yeah, she's got some now. That doesn't have enough. Yeah. All right, let's talk about a pet peeve Darian has that you guys don't know about. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. We don't watch TV anymore. I watch YouTube. Jenny watches uh, Netflix or murder shows, and you watch mostly your phone. John plays video games. That's our household. Yeah, we take turns watching our shows. Well, occasionally, we'll watch a movie together that you guys have already seen, but you thought I should watch. Anyway, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube. What I was saying is I always see people try to start them with a nurse bottle. That is a huge failure. It never goes as well as you think. Having a supply line to it always does. It has to do with these things use more gas than you realize. And another pet peeve, and I'm going to do a study on this. It's is, like you're drowning. You can only get a gas there every once in a while. Well, it's only getting a tad of fuel. It's not going to Yeah, the mixture, is, the mixture is too rich or too lean. And it does. Anyways, um, people who spray carb cleaner in there, I have a belief that it's not good because I've seen people spray. spray. Hey, it doesn't want to start. It's a cleaner. It's not a, yes, it's flammable, but it's not the right kind of flammable. Again, cleaner works good. right. I know brake cleaner works good. Starting fluid works good and gasoline works good. This engine runs good. It just needs gas. So let me, uh, gasoline let's get some gasoline in it and then we'll be on our way. <laughs> okay. I delayed the starting to answer the questions. If you'll notice all of my items have broken tops. This doesn't, uh, you know why they have broken tops? Because I put them on something and then I bump them. And every time they're going to land on their nose, just like a human. When they fall over, they always land on their head. So, we have one lid to share for all three. So, we know starting fluid's going to start it. So, I, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll just put that in a fire and watch what happens. Oh, then I got this one. And, and let's, you know what? Let's start with the one because it doesn't start now. And I know, Continue. well, I've got gas in here and I don't want to be a false positive. You know, so let's crank it a little bit. We know that it's not. I put some of this in. I'll even make it fair by holding the choke open. But I could put a lot in there. This is my high rise manifold. Here we go. Oh, this gum out's good crap. Okay. Let's try this one. All right, the gasoline is gone. The fuel source is gone. Now, if I can get this one to work. Now, I know some of you are screaming at me, and I'm sorry you're screaming at me. You're going, Darian, that's a cleaner. It's going to take the oil off the rings. Yeah, well, so is gasoline. So is thrust starting fluid. It's all a cleaner. If you don't believe me, spray some on a, a oil spot or something. It's all a cleaner. Gasoline. We wash our hands with gasoline to get oil off and stuff. This is probably not going to work, and I'm going to look like an idiot, and then you won't see the video. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Mary. It doesn't fit. These are broken. It's got a broken spot. Let me let me show you a secret. A secret secret. I've got a secret. Uh, I think that was Sticks who sung that song. Yeah, yeah it's a robot. Robotic. I, I, know what it is. I guess they won't play that in concert anymore. They don't like it. Who I don't know. who even knows about the sticks? Oh, I, oh, wait a minute. My audience knows about the sticks. Nobody else does. Turned out everybody who's watching somewhere between thirty and sixty-five. Is that what the analytics said, Mary? Yeah. I've got a grandson who loves heart. I play barracuda for him all the time. He yeah. thinks it's the greatest day ever. Well, he likes fish. So fish like the like the. The music group? The critter. I don't know. I haven't played fish band for I think yet. there's a group called Fish. All right, I'll get some in here. You see any of that dripping in there? Yeah. It's kind of a dumb way of doing it. I know. This is Hillbilly Rednecking. Oh, that was a All right. Oh, it's probably evaporating. Well, I got it on my hands anyways. Well, if I had more in there, I think personally this brake cleaning crap works just as good as starting fluid. That's my opinion. Carb cleaner does work. But if you've got a really old engine with bad compression, this stuff will work better. This one has got is this one runs good. There's no problem there. Are we gonna put gasoline in it now? Yeah, we're doing a cold start still, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. All right, delay, delay. All right, so we put gas in the tank. It's just connected. 
we're done screwing around. I'm just going to show you that it runs. It's going to crank for a bit till the pump works. Um, it shouldn't take very long because we got gravity right to the pump. <laughs> Shouldn't take very long because we Give got her some gas. Well, it's just not in there. <laughs> I can hear it. It's not in there yet. Oh, I heard it spray. Let's put some soap with gas in there. Because we don't have a radiator, we shouldn't run it. Oh, wait, it's like 38 degrees. Look at our breaths. Yeah, you can still see yours. When the sun, it feels so nice. They, so, they always said, get a six-cylinder. You'll like it. They run good. This is my first one I've actually owned. Um, you know, like I say, it's got new oil and filter and starter. and It just looks like crap. All right. Stop screwing around. Let's get going. Or whatever it did. You're messing with the brake pedal now, you're saying? Um, I'm messing with taking the master brake cylinder off because it doesn't have the proper alignment. Um, it's loose on the wall, right? And when you push on the brake, I don't... It works, but it doesn't... It's, come up front. The right pressure? No, it, it's not tight. Come up front here, I'll show you. I'm trying to make it too good, believe it or not. See, it didn't it didn't draw all the way back. It flops around. So I got some spacers to put between there so that it'll go. And now, yeah, and there's a bunch of holes in the firewall, so I might just take a piece of that plate, put right, put a piece of plate right over that and then drill the holes proper and have it mounted proper. I mean, I don't know about you, but brakes seem important to me sometimes. I would say they're like the number two thing. What is it? Safety's third, right? So you got production or whatever, and then safety's third. But in a car, you need the gas pedal to work, which I'm doing last. And then you need the brakes. Well, you need steering. What do you? Brakes. Yeah. What's the order? You would want brakes first. Uh, steering first, then brakes, then gas. You think so? Yeah. So it's my. Like if you're on an ice slick or oil slick. Don't necessarily, you don't want to use brakes, right? But you want to use a tiny bit of steering, right? I don't know if you guys have been watching this a couple of weeks ago down in Utah. There was a gravel truck that smashed through a Ford store, caught fire. I saw it on a YouTube channel. It turns out my sister lives close to there, and she was, anyways, it destroyed like 33 cars. He didn't have brakes, but he had steering, and he missed a lot of people before he finally destroyed that truck. Why say steering so, yes. and his engine worked, but. It was just a little gradual downhill, and he couldn't stop, and the gravel was too heavy. It is pretty dark hot out there. It's only starting to cool down there. Who cares about Utah? Let's get back to our brakes. Because I was just saying steering's important. We got steering, <laughs> and we got drive. We don't have brakes. That's what I was saying. Brakes are important. Getting distracted. If y'all haven't noticed, that's kind of the trend around here. Well, right? whoever tried to put a 1986 master brake cylinder on a 1953 Ford car, you know, now a lot of you guys go, oh, just order a part of the adapter off of, okay, uh, you made a money? Because I ain't. I got to go find a deep socket. Uh, delay. All right, so we got a deep socket. Let's try this. You know, there's not been nothing left of this the time I'm done. What is going on up here? Do I need to, I only put those on three or four years ago. Yeah, I have great contact with um, helping. Let me try a 15 millimeter because a 14 doesn't want to do its job. <laughs> Mary, I'm trying to get my steps in. Okay. Golly, I know where the 15 is. I found it first. <sighs> you know what? Sometimes you got brilliant ideas, and today you did, so I'll bring the. The 14, the 15, the 16. 
I don't like it. Now there's a, there, and then I have to go back and get another one. All the while you're laying on the cold, wet ground. <laughs> somebody somewhere is saying, Darian, these are Ford parts. This is from the fifties. It'll be standard. You're right. And then somebody also say, well, in 1986, Ford started doing that. Well, let's put all the other crap metric and uh, leave the engine part standard. And you're right. This is what I'm dealing with. This has got some metrics crap on it for the master brake cylinder. Because all I did was drill holes and line this thing up with a hole saw a few years ago. And, and it didn't work. And I was... And I didn't have my fancy impact gun. I don't think these were even made when they were doing them. I had an old, uh, oh shoot, I lost a nut. I had an old uh, cordless drill. Sometimes you could put a deal on. Oh, that's a little bugger. Yeah, I was going to say you lost the nut. I can see it on camera. Well, there. I'm not going to say nothing new. I keep my secret. Secret, secret. <laughs> oh, well, I like to say, all right, then keep your secret. It's from the world. Oh no, the microphone fell. Oh, no. All right. I think I need a combination wrench. I know where that's at. Delay, delay. What's going on, Dad? Well, I got this really cool can of Blaster Max multi loop, and guess what? How long have you had it before you dropped it? Actually, not that long. I just use it a lot because it's all maxed out. See, it's maxed out. Let's put it in the garbage, unless, unless somebody wants to see this. Come over here. There's a unless you're gonna put it in the corner of your shop and No, unless I take the top of this off, and it's and it's one of these cans where I can recycle it. If I where do I put this so I hurt myself? It doesn't count if it is. Oh, now it's broken, but yeah, it is the same as those. Yeah, it's not too bad in there. I wonder if I could. Well, you know what? I got work to do. I'll screw around later. <laughs> Oil. This one's empty. This one's empty. This one's been riding around on my rat rod. I had never pushed it till this morning because I was a display. And guess what? Some kind of oil in there. Oh, back in the olden days, they'd say oil. This is an old car. An old car needs an old tool. Let's put some oil on there. Great grandpappy's oil. Well, um, I don't know where I got this one. I'm well, I'm oh, it makes a hell of a mess. It makes a hell of a mess. I mean, this was probably on the Titanic. <laughs> it was one of the lucky few who survived. Oh yeah, well, it was in one of the lifeboats that they finally the that they finally burned up in New York to get rid of the evidence. The fact. Gasoline just took a tumble. Oh, is it spilling everywhere? I don't know. I got it is spilling everywhere. That's like a dollar and a half. <laughs> what? Why do good things always happen to bad people? All right. Come on, Mary. This video is going to suck, and the people are going to lose interest, and they're going to quit coming to my channel because they're like, this guy's an idiot. We should put a disclaimer on there. This guy's an idiot. Make it sound like it's the Olympics or something. So this is a, uh old-timey fire extinguisher holder, I think, and it's really slick, but it's in my way, so I think I'm going to have to do the... <laughs> What's the other little button on the floor? Is that just the progress? This one? Yeah. This one? You don't know what this one is? Is that your hazards? Your emergency brake? They didn't even make those till the 60s. No. You really don't know what this your is? Drink? Come on, keep guessing. Uh, There's somebody right now screaming at the video. Mariana, it's a... Gas thing, which I know you have to pry open on this one, so that didn't come around until like the 80s. Oh, oh it's for the automatic windows, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't know what that's for? I genuinely don't. That's why I asked. Okay. So this clicker, Morse code over the telegraph. It's a high beam light. Oh. So you have your headlights right here, and then you want a high beam. So you click that. I feel like if I was looking over there, I could investigate it. No. I, I don't think there's wires hooked to it anymore. Then no, you no, no. Click I'm saying looking at the panels. They panels. probably about mid '80s. Well, that Capri's '82, and it it doesn't have. We should go on. A few, man, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> that one has a high beam clicker. The Jeep has a high beam clicker. The, the rat rod has a high beam clicker. All, and all these. I've definitely driven at night when I need help. Yeah. Yeah, all of everybody else has got them on the doop doop doop. In yeah. fact, you guys should come check this well, out. This where, is where your headlights are now on my Subaru. It's a button, not on the steering. I don't care. Let me get a screwdriver. You're interrupting me. Interrupting me now. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't even have to remove this if I just go. Oh, I got to remove it. The, the shifting thing is in the way. Dad, where's that one covered in tape? Which one? The one in your hand. This one? Oh, that was because I was messing with some electrical stuff and I didn't want to get zapped. I know it's not even electrical tape, but there's a guy on the internet who says the wrong. Than there's a guy on the internet who says the wrong oil is better than no oil. Well, the wrong tape is better than no tape. That's what I just whispered to myself. Any insulator is better than no insulator. <laughs> yeah, I was messing around one day and I put that blue tape on there so I didn't get shocked. Have you told them your skydiving joke yet? Oh, that's a good joke. Maybe you told it up on the uh, Um, You know what? No. Whatever. Tell me your joke. Um, if you're going to be thrown out of an airplane, would you rather have a parachute or an extension cord? The crafty old man put newspaper or something in here who owned this. Oh, it didn't scratch up the steering wheel? Or just to shim it up. So the joke is, would you rather have a parachute or an extension cord? Oh, nobody's answered. You know, should I leave it one of those answer it in the comment thing? <laughs> sure. <laughs> If you've heard the joke before, anyways, the joke goes, you'd rather have an extension cord. And the reason is, is the thing will get caught on everything and they'll never get you out of the plane. You'd be just, ah, ah, yeah. Yeah. Anybody who is, yeah, the darn thing would get caught on uh, everything in the airplane and you would never get shoved out, right? You just hold. If you've used an extension cord in the olden days when you had a skill saw or a drill or something, the cord would always get caught and then you'd tie a knot in it and the knot would always be about four or five feet away and it caught on everything. Like it, you could not. We'll get an extension cord out and we'll drag it around for you. Have a skill saw with a cord. Well, yeah, but that you know nobody uses that anymore. All right, let's see if this will work. Oh shoot! It don't fit right. Could you maybe put the camera on a, a tripod or take it with you and go and lift the front of that? Because right now it's going like this, and I need it to go like this. Mm -hmm. So, Angle, go ahead. While I'm waiting for Mary to come around here, he's got this guy's uh, name and address. Hey, jerk. <laughs> he's got this guy's name and address and everything on here. This card sat for 20 years. But uh, I got this car 150 miles away from me. And ironically, it had at one point been in the same town as me. It's an interesting thing. We'd mentioned this before. Oh, but it Yeah, go ahead where these cars have come from, where they go, who owned them and all that. And it's a... where they come from, where do they go? Is that Cotton Eye Joe? Yeah. Get down, clown. <laughs> Once again, build a tall car. It'll be easy to work on. You'll love it. It's like there's another bolt in it still. It's also like the camera can't see us because it's inside and Let we are not work. inside. You know, I put that in when my eyes were still good. Did you just call me a dork? No, I said, oh, that one doesn't have a nut on it because that was a, you uh, don't need that one. It's just got to be this lower one that's still. Yeah, that's what I said. It's still goofing us up. There's no way that's not connected. It's just going to need, you know what it's going to need? Pry bar. Bring your camera, watch me destroy it. <laughs> one of the best tools you ever buy a pry bar. We're fully you, reduce, reuse, recycle around these parts. You can break stuff quicker with a pry bar than a hammer. Oh, well, don't forget about the extension cord body count. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how you do it? Ride them, cowboy? Yeah, that's the most efficient method wow. to just this, straddle. I hate this car. <laughs> well, uh, the tune of your whistle sure changes quick. Why is this thing such a piece of junk? Don't take out your windshield. Oh, no. That's the only valuable part. That's actually probably worth it. No. It's got a crack. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip, choo. See what I was saying about this Bakelite looking? Yeah, that's off of. That was to keep rust from. I know. That's what I said. A little seal shim. I think somebody drilled a hole too small and now it's wedged in there. Ah, security measures. I want to see where you're standing. On <laughs> the engine? Frame and off. Great. <laughs> it sure feels like there's a nut in there. Yay, Jetson! 
So let's talk about components of a vehicle, right? How many? Alert yourself, Spider-Man. What is it? Many parts make a whole? Yeah. Many hands make light work. So we've got... Classy. <laughs> braking system is the system we're working on. And it is braking our wheel right now. <laughs> we've got the powertrain system working, the drivetrain system working. We got the protection system working. We got the steering system working. We got the. It's nice and slippery, but it won't catch your shins when you. Well, slip I was it. thinking about making some little notches in there, but that's like phase three or something. I have a weapon. Find a light real quick. Well, I didn't say it. I said I have a weapon. <sighs> baton twirling, I don't think is a thing all that much anymore. But I could baton twirl. No. Oh. High school girls don't do that little fake gun thing because they can't have guns at school anymore when they do the cheers. Yeah, they do. What? Yeah. You can have a fake gun? Yeah, they're pieces of wood. Oh, uh, like you know what the problem is, Mary? Uh, it's us. There's a bolt. Oh, what? With a nut on the end. Exactly. How in the heck did I ever get that in there? I mean, So I, you're the one who drilled the hole too small and put a horrible bolt? Yes. Oh, great. But I'm going to use my grandpa's oil can. Who didn't actually own this one? Are you having fun yet? I'm working. <laughs> <clears throat> Those are the tools of success. If it doesn't cut, grind. If it doesn't grind, weld. If it doesn't weld, hammer. If it doesn't hammer, swear. Now, a lot of you are asking, Darian, Darian, why did you just do that? Well, a couple of reasons. And they're all for math. I got to be able to push that in. <laughs> I guess I get two bolts now instead of four. Um, I got to be able to push that in and get a measurement. And then I got to make sure the pedal will go that far so it'll actually go all the way to the bottom. Currently, I've never broke this system open, so I haven't bled it because I just took that off, put the body on, drilled some holes, and shoved it in there. But I don't, I don't like the way a lot of this is coming out. So I'm going to try to fix that now. Anyways, this thing's falling apart. I could probably go buy a new one. That's your plastic, Mary, you were bragging about. I, I wasn't bragging about it. I was pointing it out. Probably go buy a new one and put in there, but... New Bakelite? Oh, no, baby. That's old-fashioned. See, this one's probably going to leak vacuum because that hole is, is shot. There's a big rubber diaphragm in there, so when you have a vacuum on it, it actually helps pull that thing in which makes the brakes feel soft you ever drove a car with non-power brakes mary i don't know yeah so i could just weld that hole up probably to avoid a vacuum leak or i could put rtv on it is this front wheel brakes or yeah it's all the wheel brakes all the wheel brakes front disc rear drum just like a ford pickup just like it is oh weird like a ford uh so let's i'm gonna get my tape and measure we're going to measure the throw of the pedal. And then see what I need is this. I think the pedal hits the floor before this bottoms out. So I have to put some spacing in here to take up the bolts. Anyways, let me find my tape measure. And I'll give you instructions. You just tried it. It's right here. All right, get up under there and push the brake pedal. We. Oui. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help but laugh. So Mariana went inside off a of camera. We measured the throw of the pedal. Ironically, all that moves one inch. I don't know how much this is going to move yet because I'm measuring it to see if I can get the pedal to go all the way to the bottom so I can get full braking out of this piece of junk. So to do that, okay. so to do that, I've hooked up the vacuum assister and I'm going to try to like, he man, then I put a mark there and then I'm going to magically grab my thing somehow and mark it there and then i'm going to measure and say do we have enough if not then spacing it out is not the answer somehow spacing it in i don't know i might have to adjust the rod or something my brain doesn't work quite like that i'm a visual learner yeah so what i got to do now without destroying the brake lines is get that started get that out of the fan push this pull that we moved the seat so it probably went into gear but i have the back still jacked up so Are you saying you're the hands? Yeah, I put the camera mounted and we're set. Okay, well then you hook up the battery. Don't start it yet. And I'll check, make sure it's out of gear. 
I don't know that I'll be able to push that. I might have to have a tool. Let me get a pair of vice grips real quick before we start this. Oh, yeah, I'm totally prepared. One, the one guy who's pretty successful on the Internet, got his own TV show and everything, you know, whatever his garage is called. Um, I hardly see him use them. But I have three or four pairs, and I abuse these things. And you know what? You don't care what you use almost exclusively for welding. Well, yeah, they're the welding pair. I'm going to put them on here because then, you ready? Three, two, one, contact. Ah, it doesn't move at all. We'll turn it off. We gotta get a better setup here. That's the face of a kid who's thinking about putting this back over there for four more years. Uh, you know, if I this is like the last major hurdle on this, the brakes. Yeah, not the floors. We've done those. No, floors. and then the throttle. I don't think it'll be a big deal. The wiring, I, I just do enough, just enough to get to, to go. And that, since I don't really want to license this one for the road, I just want to kind of trailer it to a spot and drive it around in the forest. I wonder if shoving it. All right, Mary, I'm open to ideas. What have you had? Are you shoving it in or pulling it? I got to push it in as far as it goes. Right. We should try to see if there's well, just, fluid just in it. A classic two by four and just shove it in with two hands. We'll go get a classic two by four and let's, oh, yeah, yeah, let's see if there's even fluid in it. <sighs> wow, well, well, it's full of rust and snot. Well, obviously, I gotta have to spend money, but I gotta get the throw right, right? So that I know that I have enough. All right, let me get a rag. Delay. <laughs> Can you see me? Okay. So we, I cleaned out the rust out of that. I put new fluid in. It had to go to the store, which is great because we got rid of three gallons of oil. Somehow they don't want to take the oil that's contaminated with water. Uh, anyways, um. Just give you a brief history why I'm putting this back together. This truck sat for a number of years before I got it for cheap. It wasn't like a running, driving, over the road, ready to go truck. It was something I found in the woods and the lady was moving, blah, blah. You know, anyways, all my stuff is junk. I've mentioned that before. So the brake system was intact. So hopefully it should work. So what Mary and I are trying to do, just keep you on pace. We got the vacuum uh, hose connected. I'm trying to depress this rod to see how far because i have one inch of throw on the pedal and if that's in less than an inch i'm in good shape it'll go to the bottom if it's more than an inch then i've got to either reposition that figure that out i don't know not have full brake pedal those are all options where's my pry bar I put it on the couch. oh nice <laughs> very nice very nice yeah we haven't even worked on the floor yet we got to get this set all good because then we'll be ready to go. And I'm trying to push this thing, but don't want to push. And I'm a weakling. Maybe we should. Like maybe we should have put the radiator in first, and then. Oh, mm. uh, it's just an overspill. I hope. Well, let's hang it up. Okay. Just feels like it's leaking. Feels like it's time to go in the house and give up for the day. No. Okay, All right. Let me see if that's gonna. No, it's not. Maybe this thing doesn't even compress anymore. Hammer time. Yeah, look at that. It's just look at it's just pouring out, Mary. Look, it's just pouring out. Is it the line loose? Is it a bad rubber seal? Probably a bad seal. What in the heck kind of made in China? Oh, I didn't set it on there properly. Okay, do over. No, it's not a delay. It's a do over. Delay is like because of a delay. This is a do-over. Let me try it this way. I can fix this one. Maybe. All right. I feel better about that. It's like it's on there. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. 
you guys got any money go buy a car finished and then negotiate the deal he'll feel better about it like ah, oh, you know this car looks good and i like it but uh you know what's it going to take for me to buy it today and if you buy them cheap and they're junky and you build them yourself there's some satisfaction but let me tell you making a better deal in the afternoon and having a hamburger and driving down the road on a finished car that's a good feeling too you can outspeed a car salesman. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got to make that thing move, Mary. What's our plan here? Well, I have pieces of wood for you to have something solid to press your rock. Well, give me that little piece of wood you had there. That little two by six that we've been burning up. My we're welding. Bragging it. Oh. He likes to say, well, where's that whatever you were bragging about? Oh, yeah. This is just so heavy. Even though it's not heavy, it's just awkward and heavy. Okay, let's push on that. See, it doesn't. Oh, it's moving. Oh no, it's not. It was an illusion. I don't think that thing is moving because I don't. I think it's set too many years. It's rusty. Where's that oil we found? The liquid wrench. Yeah. On the table with all of your other parts. Use the. Uh, White lithium. Oh, this is grease. I don't know. Let's put it in here on the rubber and see if we can get it to maybe. Sometimes that rubber will get rusted to the shaft. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna get a hammer and hit it a few times. You know, I guess a smart guy would just take the lines off, put it over there. Yeah, I was waiting for you to tape and do it. Do it right. Hard. Hard and dumb. Well, I mean, it used to work. That's the thing. When it left the factory in 1986, it worked good. Whoa, she, now she's moving. Liquid wrench for the win. Oh, I bet I broke all the lines off of it now because I've been hammering them against the power steering pump. You know how your, all of your bottles break their caps, pops off? Uh, I wonder why. Would you like, you're by Yeah, I might put the lid on that one. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. This sucker is moving. Yee-hoo, baby. <laughs> oh, it's I need, out. Well, yeah, I hope so. How would you like me to be helpful? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I need it to. I mean, it's kind of designed to stay right where it is. But it's just. Uh. Anyways, I got a mark on here. Well, I had a mark on here till a liquid wrench helped. We're skipping over that word. Mary doesn't think I should use a bad word. I need some kind of, uh, you know, I got control over it. So I was going to be like, oh, I think it went that far. You know, there's a third option. Put it in there. Whatever it is, it is. We'll deal with it. Down, you know, that's future Darian and Mariana problem. It's an option. Future problems. All right. Stop the video. Let's come up with something. Okay, so off camera, I couldn't do it. Mariana and myself had to do it. We couldn't push that thing in. Finally, we've hooked it back to the pedal um, to push on with the leverage. I know I have one inch of pedal movement is all this thing has. It's, I'm sure this is going to take more. It's probably going to be like, if that was pushing in there, it's probably going to be two or three inches to get full movement on this. This thing had a real small original master cylinder. So I don't think I have everything I need to make this work. Uh, turn it on, Mary. The wheel's turning. When you go to push on this, it doesn't do nothing. But yet, pulling the pedal back up, you can feel the vacuum is fighting you. So, I think it's all boogered inside the vacuum. Canister is all boogered. So I've got two problems. Problem one is it doesn't have enough throw on the pedal. Problem two is the, the vacuum canister is boogered. So now I have to say, well, if I have to go buy a new one, what one do I want? Do I just want to get rid of that and try to do some kind of a manual brake system? 
well, I got discs up front and uh, drums in the back. So that's why I was trying to stick with the stuff that was engineered for it. Um, I mean, obviously I could put an offset on the pedal welded deal out here to get my, to get it to go further. That's not the end of the world. Maybe I'll try that. But the vacuum canister is bad, which is fine. If I know that that's all I need, they're like 40 bucks. Who cares? But I want to make sure that what I'm buying is going to work for this thing. Because they're not very returnable once you start modifying them, putting them on cars. Well, you've already made your own clutch system. Why not? Yeah. Too. Well, that works good in the driveway, doesn't it? Uh -huh. uh, all right, let me, you know what, maybe I'll take that master cylinder off and I'll push a screwdriver in the back and see how far it is. But then that ratio isn't the same inside of that deal. Maybe I'll make a two inch offset. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. So Marianne and I off camera have been messing around with this. You, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, On the whiteboard, we did some math. She's better at math. Throw the pedal. What is the distance? Um, finally, when it was mounted to the firewall, I was able to use my long bar, and I was able to push it all the way in. The pedal does have more movement than we need, so that one inch apparently was enough. So now we have zero brakes on it, so we're going to go have lunch. We're going to come back. We're probably going to bleed it. I'm sure that when I discovered there was rust in there, we don't. I know the master cylinder had rust in the front. It had no liquid, so it most likely is just an air issue. I know that we have a bad vacuum canister because I could feel it on the pedal. So we're going to see if we can get brake fluid to each of the brakes, go from there. And then, of course, once we get diagnosed, yeah, yeah, those are absolutely the problems. We'll buy new parts for it. But until then, we're going to keep messing around with it, try to get it to work so we know when we're buying something, it's the right thing at the right time. I just hate throwing money at stuff, you know, for a guess, so. We're going to spend a few minutes, and we'll show you that when we bleed the brakes. What I expect that we'll get some air out of it. Okay, so we cut off the video yesterday when we were messing around. You probably don't see, but we'd push the pedal. Our alignment seems right. That one inch that we were talking about was correct because I could push that in finally with my bar. I had the pedal down, and Mary says the pedal goes further than the rod, and the rod was buried out. So we should have the brakes. We're not getting any head pressure. We're not getting any back pressure. So now we've got the wheels off. We're just going to try the old traditional bleeding of the brakes because you guys saw that I emptied that rust. So it's very possible that I have a bunch of air in there. So when we saw that, I was like, hey, hey let's blow these off. Come on, Mary, let's go to this side in the shade where it's cold still. <laughs> For you folks that aren't from Washington, this is spiders, spider eggs, these little, now oh, they're probably dead and gone. This truck sat for years before I, oh yeah, and then what about this? I don't know. What is that? Is that a dirt dauber? Yeah. People see that on the internet all the time. Dirt daubers, dirt daubers. Yes, we have them in Washington. They're just not big. Yeah, anyways, let me get those. This is a this is a spider web full of dirt. All right. So when you bleed the brakes, you make sure you have fluid. You have a person inside, pushes the pedal down, that holds pressure. You open the furthest one first, so we'll start here. If we get air, we get fluid, it's okay to get the old fluid out. We'll probably go through the whole bottle we bought yesterday. Get that cleared out so you get good fluid, and then you close it. And you may not get pressure until you go to all of the wheels, and you may take several times. For you guys who've looked on the internet and watched a few car videos, this is the hose. They always talk about replacing these rubber lines. They'll collapse, and then the, then the caliper will get sticky. It won't release properly. These Fords, let me get the spider web out of the way. These Fords here will probably hammer those out, grease those so that this thing can actually move. Like I say, this truck had sat in the woods for probably a decade before I got it. So this brake system hasn't worked in 15 years minimum. All I did was set the body on top of the frame, and now you can see where we're at. So uh, let's get set up, and I will guess I'll put the camera back there. 
and then we'll share it. You could be up front pumping it down too. We'll get rid of it. All right, Mary. So when I push this, you should see some bubbles. It's trying to work. Do you see any? That's a sign of a bad master brake cylinder with the rubber. It'll peel open and it won't push any fluid. We'll verify that by trying to bleed it. It could just be that it's so magically full of... Nah, I, I think the bad master cylinder. Bring your camera around here and set up on this back wheel. I'll break the bleeder off. And then we'll go get a new wheel cylinder. <laughs> this, one. this is the stuck one anyways. Let's... You can feel it stuck right here. There's probably a ridge in it where it's been driven too much. Let me go get a beater and whap on it. Where's my sand hammer go, huh? Is it? Oh, thank goodness it was here. <sighs> Call it a sand hammer because there's sand in it. Oh, look at this. Hear the sound? This is what it does. And hit you yet with the camera, huh? Yeah. Uh, let me kneel down here on the concrete with my old legs. So when you're working on cars on jack stands, don't be an idiot and go like that. Do it like this. I legs off four. Yeah. Well, no, you didn't because <laughs> I was because I knew I had a four-year-old <laughs> helping me. I was messing with the jack. Of course, I turned it because I'm little. Right. So. So somebody's right now saying you should have a jack stand. I was taking the tire off and I was bringing the other one on and she turned it. Just yeah, that one well, tire there, a lot of one tire there. We weren't, you know, we were just yeah. changing the tire. She's like, I can help. You remember that time I was fixing the plug in your room and you decide you'd go turn the breaker on and help me too? No, I don't remember that. Yeah. Well, dad, I saw the breaker was off. So I, to teach me how breakers work. Yeah. Well, why are you messing with it? Goofball. You always want to use a Phillips screwdriver. No, that's bad internet advice. I need a real tool. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is it a delay? Yeah. Delay. Oh. Um, it's not a delay. Oh, she's gone. So when you push on it, this is the brake tube, brake hose, brake line. You see that bleeder right there? Let's find a wrench for it. Five sixteenths. I don't even know if the camera's pointing the right way. You know what? I'm not a very good mechanic, but I'm a better mechanic than seven sixteenths. It's got a sixteenths in it. Three eighths. Five sixteenths. Let's see if you can see right there where I'm seeing. Oh, wrong size. Must be the three eighths. Ford built tough. You see that, Mary? Yeah. Can I see it? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Oh, ah, yeah. That's it. Did it turn, or did I just round it off? Uh, it doesn't. Let me see it. Move your head. Decide if you were rounding it off or if it was actually turning. Oh, yeah, I'm wrecking it. It's because there's some kind of rust or something that's. Can you imagine that? Or some kind of rust that got in there? It's the right size. So before I destroy it, I'm going to go fetch a socket and see if I can put a socket on there. Maybe I should try some of that lube we found yesterday. Oh, yeah. You got out of the vice grip sprayed. All right, for you guys who are interested in an exciting, full-featured, fast-paced movie, just might as well stop now. <laughs> well, we might get to it when we're out driving the car. But I think, you know, I love those videos where in 30 minutes a guy can, oh, it hasn't run in 20 years. Oh, look at that spider. Oh, yeah. It hasn't run in 20 years, and then he gets it going. You know, I get that, but they skip a lot of stuff. And it is boring. 
You know, if my eyes worked better, this would be easier. Well, I left them in the house. Oh, wrong one. Why is that the wrong one? Oh, nice. Well, now he's lubed up. He can go where he wants. You think so? Yeah, it's cold out here. Now wet and cold. Whose fault's that? He was attacking me. You saw it. Oh, self hey. self defense. He was it's, coming to crawl up my pant leg and bite me. It's a little bug. It's like cold. Don't care. Oh yeah, this is gonna break. I was telling Mary earlier. Well, maybe I was telling the camera earlier. Just just figure I'm buying new stuff for all this. If you get a car, just say all right. I need five hundred dollars for brakes, and then that's you doing it yourself. Do you think the millennial kid's gonna go and help you do this? Just round it off. Didn't even it didn't break yet. Oh, you okay? Do I have a I have a torch? I could heat that up and score all the. Yeah, uh, let's just finish it. When finish one thing at a time. Let's see what it even looks like. I might be wasting my time taking that off. <laughs> oh, you brought me that screwdriver. Yeah. When I had to get that Suburban out of the weeds that day, I was finally able to get it to break off, like, and it broke the pieces inside, which was fine with me. But then I realized after I was kind of put it back together that some of those parts were not designed to be broken. <laughs> they were hard to get. Learn a yeah, it got out of the field, but you know, these shouldn't be too hard to get pieces for. <laughs> I was using my screwdriver, Craftsman. This thing's probably about 15 years old. They're not pry bars, you know. Uh, I think it knew too. Yeah, it quit on me. It's a quitter. I put it in there and broke it like that. So. Watch your knee. I don't want to make it look like a spider. Usually the rust gets stuck on the face of this, but there is a spot right up here, which is odd because it does rotate. Well, if it wasn't in gear, it would rotate. Because we push the car here, so we know it rotates. That's partly why we use the Capri to pull it up the hill, is because this brake was dragging. Partly why when I was running it, only the one side would turn. You know, when I had the frame off, maybe I should have put new brakes on it then. Oh, yes. Would have been smart. Been smart. Spent all the money up front. As I was saying the other day about projects, you can do it on the cheap like I always end up doing because of money restrictions. Or you can do it on the expensive. Or the third option, we tell a guy's like 70% done and he's sick of it. and Sometimes you can buy a pretty good deal then. You know, the guy who's painted the car has all the pieces but didn't finish. Did it bite back? You told me not to swear on camera, so I won't, but I'm thinking it. It's okay. Take it all you want. It'll be interesting when this finally comes off to see why it was being dumb, because it's being dumb in one in one location. Yeah, I think the others are freer. This has been a problem since I got this frame years ago. I always saved it for later. Do 
what I need to do is get this big bar in there, but this tip is too the tip is too big bar. I said to Mary, I said, you got one with a weak tip that'll break off easy? And she says, yeah, I found the best one I could. Okay. I said, I found the shortest and stout one I could. Because if you could break the tip on the other short and stout, break the tip on our one too. Yeah, you want to have all your screwdrivers match. I figured out already, Mary, most of life is patience. Oh, well, we have just enough of it. No. Okay. Hard to say. Well, it's in our logo, so we... Oh, just enough time, patience, skill. skill yeah. Money. I don't remember the order, but yeah. We didn't have money in there, did we? We never had enough money. No, that's why I didn't put it in there. You're just like, yeah, we know. Okay, let's try using... Hey, you know, for drama, we could stage a fire right now and burn this thing to the ground. Well, you did have a fire doing your Nerf bars, and I didn't film it. Oh, yeah, you didn't want to then. Mm. So my cutting oil got fired. It was pretty small. Not very impressive. I said, Mary, you're supposed to film all this, because then we could say, oh, no, after, you know, what's the phrase? We're going to lose the shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're going to lose the stupid car, because it's on fire now. It was just a little oil in the tube when I was welding it. Other side, but yeah, it's where I use that. Uh, what did I transmission oil or something for cutting fluid, which actually worked pretty good. But yeah, that's where I gave the no oils right, the wrong oil is better than no oil phrase. Yeah. I'd I was heard thinking around not doing anything because he was just welding the caps, and I had already filmed the other side, so right. the no point in filming both sides, and then he decided to catch it all on fire. The exciting thing happens when you're not watching. Yeah. You know, that's where the excitement of life is when you unexpected it. Didn't count because it was on camera. The kids say nowadays picture didn't happen. What is a video if not just a bunch of pictures? Well, your generation's got some issues that every generation does. Oh yeah, we ignore ours. Oh yeah, oh well, yeah. You guys put yours on the internet. <laughs> we also go to therapy, so <laughs> I should have been a therapist. I would have said, What do you think causes those problems? Putting your shit on the internet and making people think they... Can't say that one. On the internet? Oh, yeah, they'll f flag me for saying internet. No. What was the word then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> putting my items on. How come that screwdriver isn't fitting in there anymore? It used to be open. Yeah. Hey, Mary, you want this to come off quicker? Can I turn off the camera? Yeah, stop filming it. <laughs> So this most likely was our culprit. I don't feel the pin in there. So sometime, somewhere, somehow, somebody. Um, you see how both of them are missing? There should be one there, one there. We only have one that's all intertwangled. So there's. So what happened is this is called a hardware kit. And you can buy all these springs. This was disconnected. So what most likely happened is these rust off the back. Uh, in fact, they're missing on that side too. You did you them. did you see the brakes when you took the other half off? But the drum didn't come off with anything. Yeah, I know. Like this one. Anyways, what happens is these are here and they hold the brake back, right? And you can see they haven't been on there for a while. So what happened is these probably failed. The brake got weird in there, and that's what was all my trouble when we took it off. Those were in there. Yeah. But these weren't, see, these haven't gone round and round. So most likely it's, since it was setting in that field or it was setting in my driveway, the spring tension released those pins. So it's not the end of the world. We just get a new um, hardware kit. Oh, we've done that before. And we can put it all back together. and It'll come with the new springs. and everything. There's actually good meat on these. Oh, better than we've seen. The best. But you see, that's worth checking because if we try to drive this and those parts were loose, it would have just jammed up. And I've had an old trailer once where this stuff shook loose and it, it goes around and around and then it finally it on No, it doesn't catch on nothing. How? It goes around and around because the trailer is stronger and it breaks all the wheel cylinder stuff and then you get fluid leaking and stuff. So you got to keep an eye on it. So they, so they recommend, I don't know, whatever year or so you should take this off, look at it. 
we'll clean this surface up. There's nothing wrong with the parts. We didn't destroy anything. I thought it would be a groove, but it turns out it's pretty good. Oh, snap, it took off one screwdriver. Well, you know, it was old. It's okay. I broke your tube snake on tube, another set of drum brakes. Tube snake, huh? Mary, is that a word you're going to use on the internet? Tube snake? Yeah. What Do is the it tube, tube snake boogie? What's a tube snake called? It's not that. Well, I know what a tube snake is. On my travel. What's missing on this side? Oh, the entire system. I didn't look. I just took it off because I was in charge of turning it. So, I like to leave mysteries. The problem is, is this. I wasn't going to tell you. This little doodad. These are the parts you got to replace usually. It's the only one that's stuck. It's, well, we don't have the other one. <laughs> yeah, the only God, one. I hate this car. <laughs> uh, so, let's just count it off. Two wheel cylinders. All the brake BS will come as one kit. I need it so everything will be new. And all the brake cables and everything. And then... Why does it turn so heavy? I don't know, because you're pushing on a lug. Is the rear end bad, too? Did I buy a real piece of crap truck? See, look, it doesn't want to turn. I don't know. You were telling me to turn it. I'm like, it sure takes a lot. Oh, my 60 horsepower. Six cylinders are going to work awful hard to turn this thing. Yeah, now you know how I feel pushing it around the yard when I was doing it by myself yeah. pretty much. Anyway, so then we'll need two wheel cylinders. <sighs> we don't, you know, it's a waste of time to even try to bleed the brakes because that's, there's nothing there's to bleed. No brakes? So we might as well just make a list, strip this thing off, shoot, dig into my coin purse and dig out another few hundred bucks. Just gonna need the hoses. I'm also getting new calipers, brake pads, spring kit, um, wheel cylinders. Then we'll probably still have to go to the junkyard somewhere and try to find this other, unless they got wheel cylinder replacement doodads. Because you see, those are pushing there. I'm missing one. Man, that old lady lied to me five years ago when she said it ran fine and drove fine. They just didn't use it. And I was like, hmm. Again, goes with my theory. Don't pay too much for them. Yeah, see, they've cut the emergency brake cable off. Mm -hmm. So that tells me I'm also, all the stuff I was trying to save to reattach, I can get rid of that now. Because, well, I was going to connect it to the original brake stuff, and I'd be like, BS, you know? I mean, I'd be all BA, badass. Yeah, I'd be ready to get the, BS. Well, now it's BS. All right. We should work on something fun. <laughs> Go get the shotguns. We'll make it an authentic field car. <sighs> Yay, Jetson! You remember when you said my emotion goes up and down and the car was helping me? It is. It's telling me it's problems. I just didn't want to know these problems. I really thought there'd be good stuff in there and I yeah, could just... You split. just said you were, would have been a good therapist. Now you're like, I don't want to hear When it's my problems, <laughs> I'm not good. When I'm telling other people how good they got it, it's easy. Uh Maybe we'll find the handle on, in the back seat and put it on the gear shifter as a win. We need a win. <laughs> we need a win today. Where's the gear shifter? Mm. Put the pedals underneath. The pedal pedal. I lost it, Mary. It might be up here on my shelf. <laughs> I bet it's with that. No, it's not. All right. Uh, yeah, anyways, it's the Ford one. I have those two levers somewhere. Maybe they're in the glove box. Let's look. They were in there. The cats must have took them. I don't feel bad now about wrecking this stuff because it needed all those parts. Oh, do you think this wood pencil will open it? Oh, this one has a little handle on it. Mm-hmm. Boom. I know sometimes my brain works. I'll have to use a hammer to put that on. You want to know what else was in there? Come around here so you can... Well, that seems silly. This little piece of paper. Um, there was a little... Some little drawing the guy had something made, but that's not what... You know what? I bet it's gone. 
Nice junk. Uh, there was a, a little log he had in here of all the repairs he'd done in the years. Yeah. Yeah, it's always neat when you find these little... Oh, here we go. Maintenance. 58,000 miles, September 1962. Stored some... I need to get my glasses. Uh, number one, chassis grease. Number two, something frost lead packed. Oh, front wheels packed. I do need my <laughs> I do need my glasses. Anyways, we read this before some years ago. It has all the miles. What kind of miles is on it now? Let's go around and look. Here's one, August 1981. Bled front brakes. Oh, we're back to that. Luckies. Uh. Yeah, that's about his last entry. Oh, wow. Um, well, put your camera in there and read it. I can't. I'm too short. We got the car too high. So is it 62,000? 61,088? Well, let me just climb in there and look. Because in March 28, 1976, the car had... Oh, he didn't write down the mileage. And then it goes to 77, 78. Oh, two thousand miles. He said so. He didn't. He didn't put the date. Let me try the Nerf bars. Uh, yeah, that's sixty-one thousand. That's, that's what I said. Anyways, I thought this little book was new. August of sixty-three. That was just a month before Kennedy got killed. I mean, this car has some history. Then he jumps ahead to May of sixty-seven. Driven 12 miles. Everything works perfectly. He signed it, whoever his name was. P.S. Oh. And I don't, I can't read his cursive. He was, ex he was excited. He wrote it down. Then it jumps ahead to December 1970, again with only 58,000 miles. Took carburetor off, completely cleaned it. Uh, blew out jets with, with jet air. <laughs> I wonder what the hell he's eating, jet air. Probably uh, like cheap cleaner. oil put, no, changed oil put in 1040. Ward Supreme. Do not put in any other oil. It's like he's giving instructions to somebody on that one. Yeah. July 4th, 1972. That's a, shoot, that's it. Before I was even born still. Installed new air cleaner filter. Bought six something. That's what he was doing on his fourth. Yeah, I have to get my glasses. I'll have to read over this if people are interested. He had a little stuffs in there. White wall tires, six. It's forty dollars and eighty cents each. June fourteenth. You know, some ad uh oh Sears, Sears passenger cars and light truck tires. My first tool set came from Sears. My parents bought it for me at Christmas time. It was a little gray case. Yeah, it's All those tools are probably intermixed with the ones I already have. Yep. Best thing you can do for a boy or girl, a young person, or even an old person, buy them some tools. But you got to have them stuff to take apart. Everything that's junk, you give to them. They take this apart, see what's inside. And then when they're done, you go, yeah, it looks great. And you throw it in the garbage. Or maybe they put it back together. Yeah. This probably won't get in here. It's the thing on mufflers. He is circled. Here's some things on shocks. It's just funny. Oh, check this out. That's the one I bet I needed for my ding. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I don't have that part, so I ended up buying a different one. Maybe that. Yeah. All right. Here's a little prize, Mary. You know what this is? Oh, it's a can opener. There you go. Oh, there's the other lever. I'll put those prizes back because why not? 
And I think we're going to go make a list of <laughs> brake parts needed. Let me first install this so then we can take them back off when we fix the floor. Fail safe. They can't hear you. I'm the one wearing the microphone, Mary. Yeah. Do you think that guy, do you think that guy who kept all those records till 1981, do you think that guy would appreciate that his car isn't in the junk heap or hasn't been made into Honda Civics yet? Not my, he might not be around. Oh, I'm sure he's not. But the point is, is do you think he would appreciate what I'm doing to it? Or do you yeah. think he'd be all, oh, he should be restored? The yeah. fail safe brewing corporation the bottom is st louis missouri and then it has its patent pending. all right well do we want to st stop the brakes right now and start cutting up metal and making a floor so we can put the seat back in or what do you want to do mm -hmm. yeah well let's stop the video and figure something out you don't have your mic so you gotta speak up oh <laughs> snuck up on me uh, I says to Mary, I says, before we spend a bunch of money on brakes, let's see if the four-wheel drive even works. I never even tested that either. <laughs> so let's put the... Lockers. Uh, these are the front hubs. I'll put one on this side. Let me close the door. Oh, so cool. Was that the one? Yeah, okay. Now, look how short... <laughs> Get the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so shorty. Well, the front's even higher yeah. now because hey, we put it up on put stands. On I put it in low range, low gear, first gear, crawl gear, granny gear. Low gear, what do you guys call it? First gear, low gear, granny gear. Let's put the stool real close so when it starts, it'll grab with the lugs. It'll grab my chair and pull it in. Nice. That would be better than, um, oh, this host. That would be better than, what do they call that? A fire or a drama video. Look at that. That goes right there. Oh, nifty. Okay. Look at this piece of junk up. Alright, let's see if this makes sure the chair really isn't in the way. Look at what your bucket is. It shook off. <laughs> All right, so now I lined see, it. That was a win. Putting the shifter handles on. Now all of a sudden, all the wheels are turning. Yeah, let's screw around with. Uh, forget brakes. Brakes are back to third. Let's get. All right. Don't mind the dogs barking. Not our dogs for once. Surprisingly, it's the neighbors, and usually they're quiet. Anyways, get to the point. Um, Darian's at work right now. We decided to buy brake parts we shopped around we looked we went to our local place we looked them up on like places like amazon and stuff and then rock auto was half the price of in person and amazon was about the same as in person um so let's get into it i covered up all of our addresses and stuff 
so we should be good to go. But Dad's at work, so I figured I'd talk about it for him or give it an attempt. Okay, we got our whatever this is called I'm spacing. So let's see if it actually matches up and see if I know what it is. I don't want to pick it on the wet side. Okay. Oh, they got some brake shoes. A whole four of them. Oh. <laughs> I had it turned the wrong way, guys. I almost dumped all the... Dangerous. Let's see if they're... Oh, yeah. It's just falling all apart. They look good, though. That shoe looks good. I'm gonna have to Tetris them back into the box. Oh, we got another magnet. We put them on uh, all of our stuff. I'm sure you've seen one or two around the shop in the videos. Okay, we got two wheel cylinders. Let's make sure they're actually different sizes. Different sides. Oh, my shoe fell off. They just say wheel cylinder, but they are different numbers. I don't know. See them. So hopefully they're right. This one's also trying to, it's trying to fall out both ends. What do we have here? Jeez. Let's read the box. The box doesn't say anything helpful. Let's open the box. Ah! Our entire kit. Uh, springs and all. Is there pins in there? Yeah, they're hiding in the springs. We got our pins. Put them off to the side. Packing statement. Whatever slip. <laughs> this is a far fancier looking master cylinder than the one we have in there now. And heavier. Oh, yeah. Some hoses. With two different kind of hoses. Both the hoses are for the front. Can't remember. So we ordered them about a week, week and a half ago whatever something like that so which is pretty quick considering it's rock auto i'm fighting with the power brake booster oh another brake hose oh yeah we do have three on there let's put that to the side i need to get my which is one of my sharp garden spades. Using the biggest hammer for the job. Everything's a knife. I feel like an idiot doing this. I know how Darian feels. Darian's my dad, by the way. I know some folks are like, oh, to Darian in the comments or whatever. That's a good wife. I'm sorry, I'm not his wife, I'm his daughter. Although, I do look very similar to my mother, so I could see the confusion. And they're usually compliments about me, so I don't feel so bad. I'm out of there. There we go. Struggling. I don't know how good y'all can see it in the plastic, but it wants to come out of the plastic, and I don't want to take it out of the plastic. So then I have to collect all the parts. There we go. You think that one will have a vacuum pump problem? Let's see what our travel is. This one only feels like a half an inch. I don't know. Figure it out. Um, I'm sure Darian will be psyched about this. It's Tuesday right now. This video comes out tomorrow, which is today that you're watching it. So I wanted to get it done, do a full circle, finish up for whatever. Um, I know it's been a long video. It's been all about breaks. Thank you for watching and 
in the next couple of weeks sometime, we will get this out to you. Um, of finishing the brakes and hopefully having them working. And it'll be a win. So, thanks for watching.